Hey, Harry, what are you doing? Packing. This is a cool watch. Hey, I can make it any time I want. N for noon, S for six. <laughs> hey, I missed lunch. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Just, just give me that. Wow. Harry Weston, you got your own brand of underwear? <laughs> Those are name tags, Charlie. Come on, Carol sewed them in. Oh, I get it. You're going to camp. <laughs> Charlie, it's not camp. Wilderness adventure. Feel like a man again. Eagle Springs, Montana. Hey, I think my niece went to that camp. It's not a camp, Charlie. This is about pitting yourself against the elements, about survival and getting in touch with your manhood. Harry, word of advice. If you want to get in touch with your manhood, wait till the other campers are asleep. <laughs> I'm taking a little vacation, dear. I, 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 I really need to get away from it all. What do you need to get away from? Daddy! Run, run. <laughs> oh, Daddy. I just found out what I look like naked from behind. Oh, please. <laughs> Just now, when I was plucking my eyebrows and bleaching my mustache, oh, come on, I, I, I accidentally turned in the little mirror I was holding caught my reflection in the door mirror. My whole body is falling apart. I ask you, whose knees are these? <laughs> Don't worry, in a couple of years, your breasts will cover them. <laughs> well, 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 come on, honey. That's, um, I say it's my cab, dear. I came, Mr. Plane. I got... Please, Carol, baby, can, can't you find a friend to talk to? I gotta go. I love you. I love you. See ya. <laughs> Daddy's right. I've been spending all my time with him and Scotty. I need a friend. I need... I need someone who can relate to me. Don't look at me. I love the way I look naked from behind. <laughs> Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. Sometimes the answer can be hard to find. That's something I will never be. I'm always here for anything you need. Rain or shine. Share it all as life goes on. We share it all as life goes on. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was some trip. Man, I mean, three hours on a mule. No saddle. <laughs> Well, yeah, I sure would hate to be your keister tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 this is, this is great. This is, um, it's a teepee. Yeah. Home sweet home, Doc. But, but wait a minute. The brochure said there they were, they were cabins. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not through building those yet. <laughs> Was this too rugged? Oh, no, rugged is, no, that's okay with me. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, I, I do rugged, yes. <laughs> huh. Name tags? Oh, 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 yeah, well, my daughter Carol so did that. I mean, it's silly. No, no, that's a good idea, Doc. It'll help identify the body in case we lose you in the rapids. Okay. <laughs> my body? It's just a joke, Doc. Oh. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Oh. You're here to have fun and to test yourself a bit. Okay. Who knows? By the end of the week, you might wind up getting the medal of Taku Wakan. <laughs> Uh, but the, the brochure said I would get a, a coffee table book. Oh, yeah. Well, we're all out of those, Doc. You better get a good night's rest. You got a big day tomorrow. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me. Uh, where, what, what do I do about dinner? Catch it, kill it, eat it. <laughs> Welcome to Eagle Springs, Doc. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, what's that? That's a Jeep. A Jeep? You have a Jeep? Why, why, why did I ride six miles on a mule? You ordered the He-Man plan. Okay. Okay, I'm so tired. But this is great. Air is great. It's quiet. Oh, boy, it's so peaceful. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the lift, guys. <laughs> hey, Harry. Hey, 
You're as peaceful and quiet around here, huh? How did you get here? Oh, come on, Harry. Don't be coy. You showed me that brochure. You left your credit card in your dresser drawer. I can take a hint. <laughs> Good. Well, here's another hint. Get out of here, Charlie. I want to be alone. Oh, come on, Harry. I've never been to camp before. Except for that one time my parents sent me to fat camp. <laughs> I was the only skinny kid there. <laughs> You know, the kids were so mean, they pelted me with carrot sticks, and they called me names. Mr. Fast Metabolism. Charlie, leave me alone. I want to go to bed. Don't you want to sit around the campfire sing songs? <laughs> Good night, Charlie. Tell ghost stories? No, just go to sleep, Charlie. No. Oh. 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 Look, Harry. <laughs> The bunny. Go to bed. Or the bunny gets it. <laughs> Good morning. Listen, office hours don't start till nine, but you oh, can just... No, no, I just came by to introduce myself. I'm Bridget Cahill. I just opened up a shop next door. I... Bridget Cahill, Psychic Readings. Well, how do you do? I'm Laverne... Laverne Todd, yeah. Oh? oh I read it on your smock. Oh. <laughs> But I can't see you're getting married soon. Well, that's because you saw my engagement ring. It's at the jeweler's B and Sasa! <laughs> Why, you've got to give! <laughs> I'm getting something that makes absolutely no sense. Something about a grumpy bear? Laverne, where the hell's the sugar? <laughs> Douglas, I want you to meet Bridget Cahill. She moved in the shop next door. She can predict the future. Big deal. So can I. I predict your storefront will be tagged, and within two weeks, you'll be robbed. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, Laverne, it's all right. Some people just don't believe. Well, they should. Back in Hickory, we had this old lady, Dottie Mae Jackson. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got ahead of you. <laughs> She roller skated into town one day. She proclaimed the horror, the horror. Two weeks later, Jake and the fat man was canceled. Well, you've made a believer out of me. <laughs> well, listen, it was great meeting. I better get going. Well, how about some parting predictions? Oh, okay. Uh, well, just off the top of my head, if I were you, I would not drive on Front Street tomorrow. Okay, I'll take a different route. Oh, Laverne, please. And... Something about a roof on fire? Oh, my Lord. Lord of mercy, head for the hills. The end is near, the end is near. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, one more. I'm seeing the words red nut. Pistachio? No. <laughs> no, just the words red nut. Good morning, ladies of healing. <laughs> to be my friend. There's your pistachio. <laughs> I'm looking for a confidant. Someone who, when I'm feeling hopelessly fat, will say, it's nothing, Carol. You're probably just a little bloated. <laughs> Laverne, let's start with you. I'm feeling kind of fat. Hey, Lo, I wish I could gain some weight. <laughs> I can't stand people like that. Really? Me too. Carol, uh, believe me, if I could, I would really love to be your friend. But I hate that crap. <laughs> right, you okay, Harry? Yeah, fine. Oh. Sam says you're the first person ever to fall off, old Daisy. <laughs> I did not fall off old Daisy. She reared because of a rattlesnake, and I wisely <laughs> slid off her back. Well, you know what Sam says, only one of us can be initiated into the Order of the Eagle and win the medal of Taku Wakan. Charlie, I don't care about the medal. Don't call me Charlie. My Eagle Springs name is Little Dingo. <laughs> You're just jealous because I did better than you, Silverhead. It's Silver Cloud, and stop calling me that. 
Sam said there'd be dinner waiting for us here. This is this this must be a hit. Look, what is that? Hi, Bunny. Now we got something to play with after dinner. Charlie, the bunny is dinner. <laughs> this is from Sam. I caught it, you kill it, and you eat it. You can't be serious. I'm not gonna kill a little bunny. That's it. I'm finished with this joint. I'm, I'm walking out of here. I'm hiking out. Come on, little bunny. You got a reprieve. Come on, take it home. Table for one? Uh, yes, thank you. I'll be dining alone today. I'll probably be dining alone every day. Hello, little bird. With your life so simple. A wealth of friends surrounding you. No worries, no cares, no credit card bills to pay, no bikini waxes to schedule. Oh, that I had your life to sail among the clouds. Oh, my God! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, wait! Hey, wait, wait, no, 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 no leave me alone, no, lady! Stop! <laughs> Give me my purse. I can't do that. You won't let me take you to the hospital. You were trying to kill yourself. I am not going to leave you alone. I, I was not trying to kill myself. You had weights strapped around your ankles and wrists. I was jogging. <laughs> Look, I found the note in your purse. I have lost all sense of purpose and I can no longer go on. I think you're reading way too much into that. <laughs> so I have decided to end my life. Great, can I have your liver? <laughs> you two look like a couple of drowned rats. What the hell happened? Uh, actually, it's kind of a funny story. You want to hear a funny story? Your kid flushed your jewelry down the toilet. <laughs> Top that one. <laughs> look, you've been a lovely host, but I really need to go home now. Valerie, you really need to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am a psychiatrist. Really? And we never met? Look, you didn't get too far, did you, Harry? That was one mean putty tat. It was a bobcat. Oh, you named him? You're lucky I found you. It's a good thing you scream like a woman. I was not screaming. I was trying to scare it away. Well, I don't know, Harry. When somebody wants to scare me, they usually yell, boo, not, oh, please, God, don't let him eat me. Well, looks like somebody got spanked by Mother Nature. <laughs> Why don't you tell me there are bobcats out there? You should have seen me, Sam. It was great. I saw Harry cornered. So I pulled a hot dog out of my back pocket, threw it down the ravine, and the cat went right for it. You had hot dogs? <laughs> well, that's nice work, little dingo. That's, a, that's an old Indian trick. Oh, yeah, made famous by that old Indian chief. Rescues with his weenie. <laughs> Easy now, Silver Cloud. Stop calling me that. Yeah. Better name would be Screams Like Squaw. <laughs> That's right, Pocahontas. We'll make a real man out of you yet. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. I've had it with you, pal. Uh, I want my money back right now. Oh, no, no, no. No can do. Didn't you read the brochure? It says no refunds. Yeah, I read your brochure. It's a pack of lies. There are no cabins, no food, no nothing. That's good. That's good. You got a, a real fire in your eyes, and I like that. I, I think you just earned the medal of Taku Wakan. So that's, that's, that, that, that's great, because if I don't get my money back right now, I'm going to take that Taku and shove it so far, Biwakan. <laughs> They will call you dancers with internal bleeding. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll drive you into town and write you out a refund check. No. I want cash. God, you city guys are so aggressive. <laughs> wow. 
Harry, you were great. You know, this wilderness stuff really brings out the man in you. Uh, you know something? I do. I feel good. I feel strong. <laughs> well, I hope you feel strong enough to run, because Sam's taking off in the Jeep. Get the captain! <laughs> I know, I know, I'm late. Sounds like someone took front street. <laughs> Some skeptic. Look, I'm cranky enough already. I didn't have time to pick up my jumbo java and donut. Well, here. Have this coffee. I've got a turnover right here in the toaster oven. You are welcome to it. This'll just fix you out right of. Thanks. Yeah, sit down there, take a load off. Your first patient doesn't come till... What's wrong? Something's the roof of my mouth. Ah! <laughs> roof on fire! Roof on fire! <laughs> Just like that psychic lady said. Did she happen to say where you'll be working tomorrow? Come on, Dr. Douglas. You've got to admit that woman has been amazingly accurate. Oh, Laverne, you'd have to be an idiot to believe that garbage. Come on, hurry up before Laverne gets back from lunch. It'll be $35 cash up front. Hey, I don't carry that kind of money on me. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, what's my future? Right. Give me your hand. <clears throat> I see a picture stretching out over the horizon. Work, TV, sleep, work. TV, sleep, work, oh, oh, uh, TV, sleep. Whoa. That's my future. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, I'm getting something. Tonight, you will meet a handsome stranger in a dark alley. You will not know each other's names, but you will be irresistibly drawn to one another. You will have mad, passionate sex so loud you will wake the entire neighborhood. Wow. <laughs> oh, and, and afterwards, you'll... you'll lick yourself and pee on a tire. <laughs> Oh, no, wait a minute. That's your cat. Don't let her out tonight. <laughs> Aren't these Christmas nightgowns great? My sister Barbara and I wore them many a Yuletide ago. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> That's what Barbie Barb used to say. <laughs> Let me pour you some tea. Now, we'll just relax, put our feet up, and have a little girl talk. <laughs> so, why were you trying to kill yourself? Because I knew I'd end up here. <laughs> Please, what do I have to do to get you off my back? I know. Let's turn the therapeutic couch around. Now you just get comfortable, and we'll take a nice long journey to the center of your pain. Won't that be fun? <laughs> okay. You asked for it. I was a lousy psychiatrist. Oh, lousy psychiatrist. I could write a book about lousy psychiatrists. <laughs> what you were saying? <laughs> My patients would be pouring their hearts out to me, and I'd be filling page after page of my notebook with, you think you have problems. Please, there were days when I was so hopeless I could hardly get out of bed. Carol, what am I talking about? Days, I've gone weeks, months, unable to emerge from the quilted prison where I lay. Carol, wait, wait a minute, to... wait a minute. I'm back there. I'm back in the dark place. No, I need to work my way out. Uh, would you like to lie down? Yes, yes, I would like to. The Dehydrator 2000. You can dehydrate meat. You can dehydrate fish. You can dehydrate bananas. You can dehydrate tomatoes. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> 
Valerie? Valerie? But wait, there's more. <laughs> Valerie! Don't take another step. Valerie, please wait. <laughs> Cat litter? You hid my weights. It was the best I could do at five o'clock in the morning. I, I, I thought we had an understanding. I, mean, I, I cannot believe that after all I've done for you, all that I've been through, that you would actually do this to me. Hey, I'm committing suicide here. This isn't about you. <laughs> what do you mean? You are the most self-obsessed person I have ever met. How can you say that? I thought we were friends. You don't want a friend, you want a mother. I can't be that for you. Nobody can. You have to find that part in yourself so you don't have to put so much weight on everybody else. You're right. Thank you. Wait a second. Well, where are you going? You helped me. You just told me something important, something I didn't get in, in, in 18 years of therapy. Valerie, please don't make me tackle you again. Come on, Valerie. Give me the kitty litter. Story of my life. I bought generic. I'm killing myself, and I'm saving 23 cents. Why don't we go home? I know a good doctor I can call. In fact, I, I know 30 or 40. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we? Wow. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. You, you want to stop and get some breakfast? Sure. Although, I really shouldn't. I'm feeling so fat. No, it's nothing. You're probably just a little bloated. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what do you say? I see two men running through the woods. What are they doing? They seem to be chasing a jeep. Oh, the dumb one slipped on a hot dog. Whoa, there's a bobcat. This is boring. Go back to OJ. Oh, Marsha Clark has a new hairdo.